I normally am a member of a firing party, the 21 Gun Salute. I'm used to being in the cemetery during the day, and we're here so much, it kind of get used to it, but when you come out here at night and you start seeing different things, it kind of gets to you sometimes. When I was walking, I thought I felt something touch me on the shoulder, but it turned around, there's nothing there. So it kind of creeped me out, and I ran to try and find the next person I could see. So the pictures are matched up with the, um, the uh, grave records that have been scanned into a digital format, and then they can make sure that we have all faces matched with places. Everything in green means it's, it's an occupied spot. Uh, if it's black, it means it's obstructed. If it's white, it's available. And uh, anything with red text has been uh, uh, changed. The status has been changed in some way or the numbering updated. In Iraq, we were going on missions every day. Now we're taking photos every day. Before I came here, you couldn't pay me money to do it, but, you know, I guess you just got to do it, complete the mission, and that's what it was. I know two people buried here. And ever since I started this, this some detail, I've, I've visited him. At first, I was, I was, I was a little, uh, you know, just um, kind of sad a little bit. But, um, you know, it's, it's just part of the mission, just, just continue the mission, you know. It's kind of surreal, I guess. Uh, it's going from one extreme to the next. Uh, it's kind of peaceful out here, nice and quiet. It's pretty uh, exact opposite. It's pretty shocking.